Good day, grade 8 learners. This is Teacher Romeo and welcome again to another video lesson where I will be talking about the fourth module, which is the gravitational potential energy. So without further ado, let's all get it started. So for today, at the end of this lesson, you are expected to Number one, define gravitational potential energy or the GPE. Number two, determine the factors that affect the gravitational potential energy gained by an object. And letter C, calculate the potential energy of an object. So I will teach you these uh, topics in the simplest way possible so that you guys can answer your modules perfectly. Okay, let's proceed. Now, let's start with unlocking of some essential terms. The first one is the gravitational or the gravity, which is a force which tries to pull two objects toward each other. The Earth's gravity is what keeps you on the ground and what causes objects to fall. As per Sir Isaac Newton, as you remembered, uh, ang sabi daw niya is lahat daw ng objects para daw siyang mayroong tali o may string na nakakonekta na sa ground. So, anything that you throw up would be pulled back sa ground. That is the concept of gravity. And without Sir Isaac Newton, then we wouldn't be able to, to find, uh, find out that there is really gravity dito sa Earth. Now, the second terminology is potential, meaning having the ability to do something. So, any object has a potential to do something, while energy is the ability to do work. Now, if you uh, combine all these three words, then you will come up with gravitational potential energy. Now, technically, if we will define gravitational potential energy, it is the energy that an object has because of its position. Potential energy can also be thought of as a stored energy or energy possessed by a, by an object at rest. The potential energy is a result of an object's position, the mass, and the acceleration of gravity with a constant value of 9.8 meter per second squared on Earth surface. Now, if we look at it, you have to consider three things for you to be able to, to know the gravitational potential energy of a specific object. The first one is the position or the height of the object from the ground. Second is the mass. And the third one is the acceleration of gravity, which on Earth is 9.8 meter per second squared. But of course, it will change or it will vary depending on your location. Next is which object has greater gravitational potential energy? Since we have already defined what gravitational potential energy is, let's understand and analyze this picture. So I have here three uh, objects. I think they're on a the ladder, object A, object B, and object C. But let's take a look at object A and object C. Which do you think among these objects, object A and object C, has greater potential energy? Think of the answer. Okay, if your answer is object A, then unfortunately your answer is incorrect. Although it has gravitational potential energy, but object C has the greater potential energy. Why? Because as we mentioned earlier, gravitational potential energy is directly proportional to the height of the object from the ground. So meaning to say, as the object's height increases, so as the gravitational potential energy. Since object C is uh, has a higher height compared to object A, then definitely the object C has the greater gravitational potential energy. Did you get that? Okay, let's take another example. What about the gravitational potential energy of this ball on the ground? Does it have a gravitational potential energy or it has a zero gravitational potential energy? What do you think? 
Okay. If your answer is it has no gravitational potential energy, then your answer is correct. Why? Because looking at the ball, it's sitting on the ground. So the height, if you will consider that, the height is zero. So if you know the formula to get the gravitational potential energy, if the value has, if the equation has a zero, then anything that you multiplied by zero would be zero. So your gravitational poten potential energy for this ball would be also zero. The only way for the gravitational potential energy of this ball to increase is if you lift it up or put it on a higher position. Good job. Now, gravitational potential energy can be computed using the equation below. PE, or the potential energy, which is the same as the gravitational potential energy, is equal to mass, which is m, times the gravity, which is g, or the acceleration due to gravity, which is 9.8 meter per second squared on the surface of Earth, times the height, or h, which is the height of the object from the ground. Okay, take note, from the ground. PE is equal to M times G times H. Since weight is also equal to the mass times G or the acceleration due to gravity, which is 9.8 meter per second squared, then you can also say that PE is also equal to the weight times height. Again, it is weight times height because weight is also mass times the gravity. So to, so to simplify that, it would be PE is equal to weight times the height. Now, potential energy is expressed using a unit joules, which is equal to the Newton meter. Now, you can all also use capital J for joules or Newton meter. Okay. Since you now know the equation that we need to use to, to, to uh, solve for the potential energy, let's have some problems later on. Now, let's take a look at this first because we always have a misconception of the difference between mass and weight. What do you think is the difference between mass and weight? You thinking? Okay. Let's define it first. Mass is the amount of matter it contains, while the weight of an object is a measure of the force exerted on the object by the gravity. The pull of gravity on the Earth gives an object a downward acceleration of about 9.8 meter per second squared. So, in short, yung mass down ng isang object, ito yung bigat niya, kung yung nilalaman niya, the matter it contains. Ibig sabihin nun, yung mass ng isang object will not change kahit nasa Earth siya, nasa Moon siya, nasa Jupiter siya, or whatever the gravity is, the mass will remain the same. However, the weight of an object will vary depending on the pull of gravity on that specific location. So sa Earth, if your mass is 1 kilogram, let's say, and then the pull of gravity is 9.8 meter per second squared, then your weight would be 1 times 9.8 meter per second squared is equal to 9.8 newton. Because weight is a force, so the unit of your weight would be newton. Of course, if you go to, let's say, some moon, yung mass mo would be the same, pero yung weight mo would be different. Kasi your mass times the acceleration due to gravity on the moon would be your weight. Did you get that? Okay, now let's proceed with answering some of these problems. Number one, a 37 Newton object inside the box is lifted by the man to a height of 3 meters. What do you think is the potential energy of the object? So on this problem, the given are 37 Newton and also 3 meters. Now we're looking for the PE or the potential energy. What do you think is the formula? Correct. Formula would be PE is equal to MGH. But mass is not given in the problem. 
the one that we have is 37 newton again if you would recall 37 newton is already the weight so that is already mass times the gravity so there is no need for us to multiply 37 to the 9.8 meter per second because it is already the weight of the object so we can now simplify it to PE is equal to weight times the height of the object from the ground. Now, the solution would be PE is equal to 37 newton, which is the weight, multiplied by 3 meters, which is the height. Then, you get 111 joules or 100 newton meter. That is your potential energy. Okay? Did you understand that? Cool. Now, let's proceed to another problem. Number two, a 30 kilogram electrician climbs a post 15 meters high for electrical repair. While on top of the post, what is the man's potential energy? So, maybe from Meral Koto, no? O makit daw yung electrician sa poste, ang, ang bigat or mass nung electrician ay 30 kilograms. Now, yung poste is 15 meters high from the ground. Ano daw yung potential energy nung electrician? So, the given are 30 kilogram mass and then 15 meters yung height. And then, we have to look for the potential energy. What do you think would be the formula? Correct. The formula would be PE is equal to MGH or mass times gravity times height. This time... The weight is not given, so you have to get the weight first. You have to use this formula. So, mass is 30 kilograms times the 9.8 meter per second squared, which is the acceleration on Earth due to gravity, and 15 meters is your height. So, multiply this, then you get 294 newton. 30 times 9.8 will be 294. It's kilogram meter per second squared or newton. So, we'll be using newton to make it simple. Multiply again by 15 meters. Then, 294 times 15, you would get 4,410 joules. So, this is the potential energy of this man on top of that post. Okay? Did you guys understand what gravitational potential energy is and how we can solve for problems relating to gravitational potential energy? Very good to hear that. So, this is the end of our lesson for today. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel, that is Sir Romeo, for you to watch for the videos that I've already uploaded and for the videos which I will be uploading pretty soon. Alright, thank you for watching my video lesson and that's all for today. This is Teacher Romeo. Goodbye.